Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means for you, this actually can resonate past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right, what needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here for the collective? Okay, the fool in the reverse be dealing with fellow Aries or maybe you've walked away from a situation that no longer serves you as the king of cups in reverse cancer Scorpio Pisces all of the decks that I use are always listed in the description box below as well as if you're ever interested in booking a private reading with me there's a link to my um, Etsy shop down below as well also for the entire month of August and since it is my birthday month I am running a 20% off sale um, so the discount will already magically be applied to any reading in my shop Okay, what is going, okay, what is happening? You know, I feel like, straight away, I feel like somebody wanted to take a chance or take a risk on something, but it's like they didn't follow through, they couldn't follow through. Someone is like, they think they messed up. Okay, I think um, Taurus also had this under the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, I think about one. Um... The Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Somebody is so eager to take some kind of action. It's all they can think about, but they're waiting for, they're trying to be patient and wait for the right time. Somebody who's restless over you. They feel like they're going to lose you if they don't do something or act quickly. This could be extremely specific. This might only resonate for a handful of people. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We have Aries energy. Taurus, um, like I said, Taurus uh, also had this card. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, it could be any sign, but I'm getting a really strong Taurus energy. Let us see. going on here please healing heart freedom from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship okay relationship or addiction healing heart this person they let you down okay they were not being serious in the past I'm getting very emotional I'm, I'm hearing the name James or Jamie. For some of you, that could be really specific. Tanya. Tanya. La. Latanya. Something like that. <clears throat> the runner. Tanner. That might be a last name, though. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, one night stand. This person was not ready for commitment. When this person met you and made a lot of promises, they didn't th truly, and again, I will never justify negative actions or behaviors. They did not think it was going to be something serious. Okay? They... I think that this person may have made a lot of promises. You guys talked about the future. You know, it felt amazing. But this person made some kind of agreement or something. And did, they did not follow through. This person did not take that leap of faith. They did not take a chance. And it left you second guessing and questioning everything. And now this person regrets not following through. They see that that was their biggest mistake. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. It really hurt you. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. For some of you, you are. You're done. You're like, I, I, I can't keep doing this with you. You broke my heart and I'm moving forward toward positive things in my life. Um, for some of you, though, you might still be interested in hearing what this person has to say, but there's a lot of pain here. You felt something so strong for this person and they took advantage of it. Now they're constantly looking back at the past with so much regret, okay? 
the full in the reverse. Some of you don't want to give this a second chance. Some of you are just too guarded. Some of you are focused on something else. Your feelings aren't the same. The magician that you, th you Gemini Virgo, you see this person as like manipulating, they lying, deceiving. They pretended they had feelings or they wanted the same things. And some of you still really do care about them, but you don't think you can trust them. And that's the problem. You gave them the world. You were there for them. Look at how she's placing that crown on his head. You know, we'll uplift and cherish each other. We'll take care of each other. We'll love each other, support each other, protect each other. And this person was only looking out for themselves. And their energy with the Five of Swords, they're reflecting on the past. Not only that, look at how her, her hand is over her heart. What have I done? What have I walked away from? This was the one person in my life who genuinely loved and supported and cared about me so selflessly and I took advantage of that the hangman Pisces energy now they're holding back thinking about the past what is this going on with this the nine of pentacles some of them just wanted to be single some of them didn't want to commit some of them didn't want to settle down they didn't want to lose you either but they weren't prepared for something serious and that's the thing is they made you feel that they were that they were ready but they ran when things got when things started to get real they ran they got scared they spooked now, what's between you, there's a lot of suppressed feelings here, a lot of hidden feelings here. Ten of Swords. It's over, it ended, but some of you still do yearn for this person, even if you don't want to. You still wish for them, wish for commitment, wish for Aquarius energy. But the thing is, like, you're not willing to try this again if you know that this person's not willing to be serious. What's the obstacle here? Okay, two, three cards? The Page of Wands, the Devil, and the Eight of Wands. This person was a player. In the, and I'm not saying that they're, that they're cheating or have a lot of other options, but this person wasn't ready to get serious. They talked a big talk. They walked a big walk. But you know what I mean? Like this person didn't, it didn't reach this person. Capricorn energy. This person was very selfish. They just wanted to play, have a good time, flirt. You know, they liked talking, but they didn't follow through with actions. And they were playing games. But now they recognize how foolish they were because they could have had it all with you. They could have had so much more. Their thoughts about you, we had Six of Pentacles. They know that they breadcrumbed you. They think about this. Eight of Swords. They can't stop. They're like, they're consumed with thoughts and memories about how they treated you. And they're like sitting in this place of so much guilt and shame. It's like this person recognizes they don't have anybody who's genuine in their life anymore. Like yearning for an opportunity, but it's almost like it's out of reach for them. I think that this person is wanting to become more serious. Knight of Pentacles. When they think about you, they think about offering you something. But again, this person is really scared of commitment. And again, I will not justify or make excuses for negative behaviors or actions because they just need to be honest about these things, right? But I think this person felt in the past, if they were honest, like, hey, I just want to play around, flirt. We'll see what happens, but I don't have any expectations here. We'll just see. You know, um, you would have you would have left. You would have said, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not playing that game. I know my worth. This person wasn't sure if they wanted something to become more serious. Now they see how foolish they were. No matter how far I run, I still feel you with me. I can't shake you. You're still in my mind. You're still in my heart. Four of Wands in the reverse. How do they feel about you? The Four of Wands in the upright clarifies the Four of Wands in the reverse. Again, like I said, I still feel spiritually tied to you. Even if I'm not physically with you, I still feel like you're my person. The person that I'm supposed to be with. And I missed this. I don't know if I can fix it now. Some of them are seeing signs. They're being given so many like signs and synchronicities all around them. Constantly reminding them of you. Thinking about you. You're, you're getting them too. You're getting this download from, from spirit. There's this eagerness to say something or speak some kind of truth to you. And the seven of swords in the reverse... And their intentions. This is about secrets coming to light. Telling you the truth about how they really feel and what their serious 
intentions are. This is going to shock you. They're going to shock you with this truth. They're going to shock you with how they really feel. Eight of Swords, actions. What is this person's actions, please? What actions can you expect from this person? Three of Cups. They might be distancing themselves from some kind of party or like single life. Like this going out with their friends, drinking, flirting, hookups. All that stuff is ending. Some of you, if they had been participating in some kind of third party relationship, like maybe you didn't know that they were involved with someone, they could be distancing themselves or ending that situation. What actions can you expect? A choice is being made here. They're not juggling anymore because they want something new. They want something serious. I mean, they're saying they're going to end something. Scorpio energy. I mean, it's going to be up to you. They're, they're hoping because they can't get their mind off of you. They realize how inconsistent and back and forth and hot and cold they were. And that's why you're not reaching out to them, not pursuing them. Maybe even some of you focus on friendship, love, other things, new love for some of you. They know their only shot at this is to end something and to be serious and to be honest about it. It's going to shock you with how much they're revealing to you about their real feelings. It's like maybe you felt that intuitively before, but now it's all being confirmed to you and you just didn't really expect it. You didn't see it coming because of how hot and cold they were in the past. So now the fact that this person is coming in and being so open and vulnerable and emotional, it is kind of stopping you in your tracks. It's making you think, you know, I do care about this person, but I'm also scared of being hurt. I mean, this is one of those things I definitely recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust, somebody that you know is going to tell you the truth, right? Um... So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you again so much to those of you who like, share, comment, subscribe. It truly helps this channel. It helps me kind of get back on track with the algorithm. Right now, YouTube's been kind of crazy about how they're promoting and pushing certain things out. And then other things, they're, it's very little getting seen. Um, so I do really appreciate you guys so much for interacting with the video and for letting me know how you guys are doing in the comments, what types of readings you like to see. It really means a lot to me. Um, I value your feedback. I value your support. Thank you again so much. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.